Hello everybody, this is D King Bay, your book granny here. And I have six boxes left over from Goldsboro that I need to unbox from when I was out for a while. So that's up next. Don't worry, you know, I hate long videos. So this one will also have the chapters in it. So give me a second to, or more than a second to go on and, you know, get this wrapping out of here and I'll stack the books up and then we'll just go through them, okay? I'll be right back. Whew, that was a lot of packaging, but it's all good. The books all came out nice, I think. I went through it pretty quick, so I don't really know what this is, but that's okay, that's okay. We're about to find out right now. Everything looks a little dark. I don't know what, maybe because it's the time of year, because I use the sunlight, because I like that sunlight, you know, to light everything, but it's looking kind of dark to me. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it alone. So the first one is Lord of the Empty Isles. I got all the um little protective covers. I will say, don't be like me. Leave those protective covers on there because it helps your book last longer. You know, yeah. But anyway, I take those uh, protective covers off. So, yeah, because I'm it's too shiny for me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, and this is by Jules Arbo. Arbo, is that how you say it? Down at the bottom? There you go. So, again, this came from my subscription. This might actually be the June book. I don't know but anyway this came from my subscription it's a once monthly uh book and it's either sci-fi or fantasy so far i think well i've only gotten like i started in january and only one book has been um sci-fi thus far so yeah <laughs> oh that is pretty we're seeing this together and look at that that is nice that is Oh my goodness, that's so nice. I love it when they actually, they're nice, the color's nice and deep. I can't stand it when they like be all faded and it's not supposed to be faded. Sometimes they do fade it on purpose, but a lot of times you can tell they didn't and it has all those lines in it and stuff like that. Uh, no, don't, mm-mm. Go on, spend on that ink, get it done right, right? So I'm loving the colors on this. That's, they have good coloring. Okay, let's open this up. Um. Again, they don't usually do alternative covers. I've never seen an alternative cover. Let's just say they don't do alternative covers. How about that? Okay, let's look at here. There we go. Nice foiling. I can see what it is. Yep. Oh, we're gonna do happy and sad. What is it called? The drama mask? Is that what they're called? I can't remember. There we go. And other back. Now, since this is their subscription box, usually they don't change the covers too much, but for their subscription boxes, I noticed that they usually, a lot of times add something special to the cover. But like I said, this is Goldsboro. They're known for numbering and having them signed, okay? And they might do something on the edging. That's about it. Here we go. So the number's up at the top, little signature down there. Okay, and it has nothing on the end pages. See if we got any maps in here. Now I know if it has a map, it'll be a map on all of them, but I just like maps. What can I say? Nope, I do not see a map for this book. Oh, I'm so sad because you know I love my map. So there you go. Okay, let's move on to our next one. Let's move on to the next one. Ooh, five broken blades. Yes, I have two other copies of this, so you're going to get a book battle. Let's see. My subscription for Broken Bindings did this. My subscription for Goldsboro did this. And I also bought one from Amazon. So where are those at? They're up there somewhere. Let me see. Yeah, one's red, one's purple, and one's blue. So yes, I will be doing a triple a book a battle for you. I just love this. You know, if I love the way a book looks, I'm going to try and get it in every color because that's how I do. It's just me. That's how I am. I am how I am how I am. There we go. And let me see. Yep, they all pretty much have this on them. It's just a different color. There we go. That's nice. Let's open her up. Oh, yep, it has the same inside, too. You will see when I do the battle. So it's going to be kind of like basically a battle of the color. Which color do you like best? Um, I really love purple. But I'm also a big fan of red, too. So we'll figure it out. I'm sure we shall figure it out. Okay. 
My back is the same. Let me get you the numbering. I'm trying to go fast so I'll get through all these. And they all had this little dagger, which I liked. I kind of liked it. There we go. A little numbering. Numbering and signature. Yep, there's a signature down there. Okay, that's nice, huh? That's it. Okie dokie, I'm back. Up next, we have some books that I order like, I think I ordered them in the fall, but you know how a lot of books actually come out in the summer. Not in order them fall, I order them in the winter. And now they're actually starting to come out. So that's great. This is Shadow Switch, Shadow Stitch, goodness, by Carrie Thomas. There we go. This is a lovely purple, isn't it? That's so pretty. I'm liking this. It's nice, deep. That's pretty. Okay, let's the edging. Now this one, yes, it's a city. Let's put it this way. I have another book. I believe they had a little city on there, but this is red. So I kind of like this. So it gives me, it makes it so I can put some books sideways like this. So yeah, I'm seeing that on my bookshelf already. That's nice. I like it. I like it, like it, like it, like it, like it. And you know, like's my favorite word. So that makes me extra happy. I get to use it. There we go. I like the cloth bounds. They have a good quality cloth there. Can you see this? Um, yep. Gold foiling for the writing. That's nice. Quite a nice, quite nice, quite nice. There we go. Dark blue. And let's get to our signature, our signature page. That's what you care about, huh? There you go. See the signature at the bottom and the number will be at the top. I can't see it because my eyes are terrible, but I'm sure it's there. Let me see. Yep, it's there. Whoosh, yeah. Y'all lucky y'all got better eyes than me. There you go. There goes a map. Okay, that's it. Okay, up next we have The Silence Factory by Bridget Collins. This did not come with a dust jacket. This is really nice foiling on here. They said we don't need no just dust jacket. I have amazing, amazing foiling. So there we go. Turn around for you. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I like it. It's nice. Try to make it at an angle that you can see well. There we go. Let me see what's on there. Oh, it's flowers. Are they upside down? The flowers look upside down to me. I don't know why, but to me, they look upside down. If a flower can be upside down, right? It's like they're pointed down. I don't know. But that's interesting because I love flowers yeah now the book is upside down but doesn't that seem like it's that's the correct direction but anyway that's just my mind being crazy so whatever ignore me when i be tripping here we go they actually have art on their end page looking like a jungle up there let's see yep the same on the back let's go on the inside and see what's going on in there mm -hmm. here we go Numbering at the top and the signature at the bottom. Okie dokie. Okay, here goes the next one. It is The Puzzle Wood by Rosie Andrews. Ooh, that's a lot of falling there. You know when it's too much falling, I'll be feeling it too much. It's like roots though. A bunch of roots or seaweed or something, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. We're going to find out, though, aren't we? Uh -huh. Let me show you that. That. There we go. This is another one that will look good on your uh, shelf horizontally instead of vertical. I actually, like, you know, I usually complain about a lot of writing on a book on the outside because I say the book should be on the inside of the book but when it's something like this I don't mind I think one of the ones like um 
what was it? Um, one of those ones about, was it the library or something? Some other book did that too. I kind of like it when it's just a little bit and like yellow face, had yellow face on the side of it and things like that. So I like it sometimes. I just don't want to get carried away. I don't want a whole bunch of writing on my side, okay? Oh, I didn't show you the number, did I? I'm going to go in there and show you that number. On the inside, they don't have anything on the end pages. So let's go inside. There we go. Sorry about that. There you go. At the bottom is his signature and the number. Let me see what number we got. Oh, yeah. It's nice, huh? Okay, that's it for that one. All right, up next we have The North Wind by Alexandria Warwick. Uh oh, the cover coming off this one. There we go. That's better. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, I'll be trying to work with the light, y'all. I'll be trying to hit that right light for you. I'll be like, bam, there you go, bam. Yeah, there we go. I love this cover. It looks like a little jellyfish to me. <laughs> but I'll show you guys in a second why I bought this book, okay? See this? I don't know. I just absolutely love that flower. I didn't read anything about this book. I have literally absolutely no idea what it's about. But when I saw that, I don't know. I just, I'm like, wow, I need that book in my life. So there you go. <laughs> that is literally what happened. But I love it. Yeah, it makes it nice. Aiden and Clay had some flowers on the side of it too. But anyway, yep. Okay. Let's take the dust jacket off. And this one, they also, <clears throat> it's just plain. It's dark blue. It might look black to you guys, but it's really actually a super dark blue. It's darker than navy blue. I mean, like dark blue. It's like almost black type blue. Okay. Get it open. Goodness. It doesn't have a, um, what you call it, a uh, end pages. Decorate end pages. There we go. So the signature is up top. The I mean, signature is down there and the number is up at the top. Okay, that's it for the North Wind. Ooh, the North Wind. Okay, last but not least is The Light Born by Rebecca Zahabi. This is actually, I believe, the third book in the trilogy. And sometimes you'll see a book that you really want. Well, I don't know what this book called on to. I can't remember what it was about. And this, like I say, is like the third book. So they didn't have the first two anymore. So I went on to the used bookstores and it turned out that I got the first two books, which I've just ordered recently, um, for less than had I had bought them at the store. So, you know, don't forget to um, look online, especially for the older books that are left over. Sometimes you can find these books and they'll cost less than, you know, cause I don't have to pay the shipping cause it's already in the US. So that saves me money. So that's a good thing. I always like to save money because y'all know this is just black, so I'm not going to pull it out. And it uses foiling for the, um, you know, the writing. So, um, yeah, so I'm all into saving money, y'all. Save that money because, you know, I like my special books, so <laughs> I need to save the money where I can, right? So there you go. You have the signatures down in the middle, toward the middle, and the numberings up at the top. I like this ombre, isn't that pretty? But anyway, so I will be getting all three books in the series. And if they come out with more, I'm gonna get more of them. I, I don't know, I didn't, like I said, I haven't read any of them, but something about this a series is called to me. So there you have it. So that is it for my Goldsboro, um, for my Goldsboro oversized book haul. Sorry about that, but when I go out of town, uh, what can I do? I got to open the books eventually. <laughs> so, so I'm back. I opened them. That's great. Um, please don't forget that we are discussing the principle of moments in July, the second week of July. We'll have our little discussion. So please join us. This is a good book. It's the first of a trilogy, I believe. So, you know, check it out. Um, also, if you have suggestions, ooh, take my little scissors out. If you have any suggestions, you know, send it on over so I can put it into our TBR jar. Don't put horror in there because I do not like horror. So um, I won't be putting horror in the jar. So that is it. You guys have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.